Ah, here we are, Bomiras. Besides the smells, so green. Not like the Greenlands, this place is wild and untamed. <laughs> so many people, so different spiders and devils and elves. Oh, I love elves. I've always wanted to flick their pointy ears. Well, yes, I am aware that would lead to a fight, but the temptation is still there. <laughs> I know better. You know, believe it or not, Jackal has the feeling that we are slightly out of place here. Perhaps were you to grow some horns or a few extra legs, we might be a touch more inconspicuous. <laughs> Do you smell that? A land filled with potential opportunities. Uh, so... What would you have the first thing we do be? <laughs> you do not know. <laughs> you are the one with the experience of turning up to lands you know nothing about and going from there. <laughs> so, what did you do the last time? Look for the first roguishly handsome man. Handsomely roguish mercenary you could set your eyes upon and attempt to charm him with all of your wiles. <laughs> Fortunately for you, Jackal has an old contact who just so happens to have uh, made his way beyond the horizon when his mercenary days were done. <laughs> Trust me, Cicel is a devilish man in more ways than one. Just, uh, be careful when talking to him. Last time Jackal dealt with Cicel, uh, he left me high and dry, as well as a group of angry bandits wondering where their gold was. Did one of you say devilish? <laughs> And making an effort not to be found, because I could most certainly help with that for the right price. <laughs> oh, Jackal, pleasure to see you again, and in one piece. <laughs> Arms not including. <laughs> and who is this pretty face you bring in tow? <laughs> Don't tell me you've convinced another poor wanderer to follow you. <laughs> So, what did he promise you this time? Gold, riches, a fountain of youth? <laughs> oh, but I get far ahead of myself. Cicel Villesh de Telon. Musician, poet, charmer, giant spider tamer, and occasional knife in the dark. <laughs> and who might you be? Someone is thoroughly enthralling as you couldn't have taken up with Jackal of all people, could you? Mitch, do you have this effect on all of Jackal's kind? <laughs> well, at the very least, Cicel, it is truly good to have a trusted mercenary on our side. <laughs> mercenary? Never. My work has moved leagues away from any common mercenary. I am a Talon, by definition. Oh, so you are not a mercenary anymore. <laughs> Do you know what this Telon is, my sweet mage? Is this a Greenlander word? No, 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 my pointy-eared friend. <laughs> Telon is a Demirian word. It means creator of opportunities. I find those in need of assistance and... For a mage, as you said, well, <laughs> there are many that would be overjoyed to receive contact from a charming mage such as yourself. <laughs> to put my work simply so that Jackal may understand it, <laughs> I find those in need of help and introduce them to those in a position to help. A charitable pursuit.
pursuit truly. All I ask for in exchange is but a small finder's fee. Giselle, I believe you are still confused on how charity works. Jackal, there is a market for my work. I am simply fulfilling a demand. I remember the Jackal that had no problems doing what needed to be done. Or have you simply lost the bottle now? <laughs> oh, mage. I am a simple man with simple wishes, and <laughs> you are new to Demiras. That much is clear simply from looking at you. I am simply exercising good business sense as a Talon. Foreigners new to our land, just looking for someone to show them the forest from the trees, yes? <laughs> Think of how it would look were I to aid you both for free. Even if you are an old colleague, Jackal, I am simply fulfilling a demand. Do not think Jackal has forgotten what happened last you said something like that. Now, for my little mage's sake, could you perhaps explain what you are? <laughs> I've been seeing their rather unsubtle glances at your horns since you first slithered over oh, to us. I see your companion is the simple type, yes? <laughs> well, don't worry. Their face far outweighs any other shortcomings. <laughs> I am a tiefling, and a well-educated tiefling at that. Horns, red skin, devilish demeanor. Infernal bloodline. Sharp tongue. Not many of us outside of Demiras, and the less educated have a Bashan to burn us at the stake. <laughs> Bringers of calamity, I am told. Tell me, have you been to the city of Runica? <laughs> I studied there for a time, but I found academia so frightfully boring. Thus, I performed a short stint as a mercenary, before scraping together the coin to return to Demiras and assume the mantle of the greatest Talon to ever grace our sleepy shores. <laughs> oh, but that is not interesting, not at all. In fact, I find you far more interesting. Little mage... That is what Jackal calls you, yes? Well, little mage, what brings a beauty such as you away from your native lands and to our humble shores? Surely a tale befitting song, <laughs> a ballad for the ages. But. Would you first allow me the privilege of your name, little mage? <laughs> Beautiful. Well, may I take a slight liberty with you? <laughs> what is it? I simply wish to touch your face. <laughs> Tieflings are mildly empathic. I do this with all of my clients. It lets me get a small glimpse of your past and ensure your intentions towards me are pure. <laughs> In this case, it's almost completely a safety measure. Oh, and why not read me, Cicel? <laughs> Jackal, your past is all the same to me. Don't forget I've read you enough times for it all to look the same. Just more sand, bloodshed, and broken promises. <laughs> now, little mage, let's get started. There you go. Then again, it 
seems you've had your fair share of bloodshed as well. Oh. All the way back to the Empire. I can practically smell the dust on your old mentor's tones. so pure. It makes me wonder what someone like you is doing running around with Jackal. <laughs> I do hope he hasn't corrupted you. Oh, and what's this? Defiance. Lots of defiance. Beautiful and need to rebel. Go against a social order. <laughs> Forge your own path. <laughs> oh, but power. So much power. <laughs> so much untapped potential. sense no ill intentions from you. <laughs> Very well. Then perhaps the two of us should uh, spirit ourselves away for an evening of wine and frivolity. No. Oh, little mage, you wound me. <laughs> but I am sure were you to ever change your mind, there would be plenty for us to do. I require a moment with my companion. Excuse us. Mage, how do you feel about Jackal getting what he needs and then poisoning him? No, I am not jealous. I am merely concerned. I had forgotten his pathetic smugness, speaking to a stranger he met coming off a boat like that. <laughs> Shameless. Well, yes, I did the same thing when we met, but that was different. We are... we ended up as we are now. Mage, I... I can understand that he has a certain uh, aesthetic value. But are you sure about me not poisoning him? <laughs> he would be no great loss to the world. I know it. Jackal died in the dust storm and this is the underworld tormenting me. F fine, fine, very well. I will play nice for him. I forgot how much of a snake that man was. No, no, there is nothing between the two of us. It is uh, ancient history, as you might say. Just merely old mercenary business. Hence why I no longer work with a partner. Until I met you. Are you done with your little conversation, Jackal? I am a busy man. Mm. Tell us about your services. Tiefling. Tiefling? Oh, so cold, Jackal. And after all the two of us have been through, all the time we shared, those unforgettable moments. <laughs> Very well. I know exactly what the two of you need. I have a spiderkin that tells fortunes. A fortune teller. Now Jackal knows this is a scam. <laughs> Please. You would not be the first to come to Demiris, looking to hide. And the fortune teller I know is the best there is. After all, I don't think the two of you in your position can afford to turn down a glimpse of the future. <laughs> And I, I use this term sparingly, but 
trust me on this one. <laughs> and, Jackal, should it turn out to be a waste of time, I will consider myself as owing you one, as you love to put it. <laughs> so what do you say, O oh great and powerful mage? Care to take a chance on a fortune teller? If the mage agrees, then I shall follow. <laughs> Very well. Be sure to walk close to me, mage. The streets are bustling at this time of day, and it would be a shame for you to end up somewhere less than savory. 